Welcome to the Outreach Ministry of Jesus Holy Temple Non-Denominational Church, 715 Thomas Street in Monroe, where Apostle Charlie Robinson and Pastor Armagene Robinson brings you the last day's message. And now we're going to one of our pre-recorded services with a word from the Lord just for you. Read that verse over again, Ezekiel 18 and 23. Have I any pleasure he at said, all? He said, have I any pleasure at all? That the wicked should die. That the wicked should die. Said the Lord God. Said the Lord God. And not that he shall return from his ways. not that he shall return from his ways. And live. And live. That's all they want to do. Just turn like I had to turn, you had to turn. And I start living. Now all you out there that are not saved, you are walking death like I was, like they were. We was walking death. We are just waiting on the time to die. Yes. We really didn't start living until we accept Jesus Christ. And you have he quickened, or uh, you have he made alive. When we gave our life to him, he made us alive because our spirit was dead. And when Jesus came in, our spirit came back alive. Yes. That's why we're a new creature in Christ Jesus. Amen. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. Glory hallelujah. to God. Watch this. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter, verse 19. Faith one, get it, read it. Deuteronomy. 30 chapter, verse 19. I call heaven and earth. You say, I call heaven and earth. To record this day against you. See, to, call, to record this day against you. That I have set before you. He said, look, heaven and earth is going to be my witness that I am setting before you. I'm waiting on you. Life and death. Life and death. Blessing and cursing. Blessing and cursing. Therefore. Therefore. Choose life. Choose life. Life that both thou that both die and thy seed and thy may seed live. may live. See, this life is for you and for your children too. He told you which one to choose. He said, Now heaven and earth are gonna be my witness. Because heaven and earth are recording. Read the verse over again. You just tune in. Deuteronomy, the third chapter, verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this he day. He said, I record heaven and earth to record this day. Against you. Against you. That I have set before that you. That I have set before you. Life and death. Life and death. Blessing and cursing. Blessing and cursing. Therefore. Therefore. Choose life. Choose life. That both die. That both die. And thy seed and may thy live. And thy seed may live. God got his witness, didn't he? Yeah. Out of the mouth of what? Two or three witnesses that God spoke what he spoke. He said, I'll call heaven and earth yeah. to record this day against you. Now, he done told them which one to choose. They choose Thank life you, that both you and your seed may live. God wants people to be saved. Yes, Lord. Thank it's you. up to them to accept Jesus Christ. It ain't no other way. It ain't in Confucius. It ain't in Buddha. and nobody else. It's in Jesus because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by who? Jesus. But by who? Jesus. But by who? Jesus. But by who? Jesus. Glory to God. But by Jesus. That is a great name. That is an excellent name. At the name of Jesus, every knee must what? And every tongue must what? That he is what? To the glory of who? God the Father. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. Not at the name of your stature. Not at the name of individual. But at the name of Jesus. Because God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes. Shout out to you if you love him. Hallelujah. Give him a holy hand clap. Yes. Right yes. Let's go to Second Peter, the third chapter, verse 9. Every word of God is true. Do you believe that? Yes. There's a lot of people getting saved today, even while I'm standing here ministering. Yes, Lord. Yes. Out. Watch this. Second Peter. Three and nine. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. The Lord promise. is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slack. As some men count slackness. But it's long suffering to but us. But he is long suffering to us. Not willing that not any should perish. That, not willing that any should perish. But that all should come to repentance. But that all should come to what? Repentance. That all should come to what? Repentance. That all should come to what? Repentance. repentance. See? Nobody is them. Nobody is them. Like you had to come to repentance, I had to come to repentance, they got to come to repentance. Like I had to accept Jesus, you had to accept Jesus, they got to accept Jesus. What did you just get tuned in? Second Peter 3 and 9. 
Second Peter three and nine. Read it again. The Lord is not slack concerning. The Lord his is promise. not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness. As some men count slackness. But is long suffering to us. But he is long suffering to us. Not willing that any should perish. See, not willing, willing that any should perish. But that all should come. But to that repentance. all should come to repentance. Now you remember the Lord said He didn't come to call the righteous, but who? Sinners. Sinners. All you had to do was be born. Yes. You're born in sin and yes. shaping a nickel tape. Who could I just said that? Yes. All you had to do is be born and come into this simple world. You were born a sinner. And stop lying and talking about you were born Catholic, Baptist, Presbyterian, Jehovah's Witness, Church of God in Christ. No, you were born a sinner. Yes. All of us are born sinners. Yes. What's so good about it? You don't have to remain a sinner. Amen. Now watch this. It shows I'm talking to you. Go to Romans, the fifth chapter. Fifth chapter, Romans. Everybody. The fifth chapter, Romans. All right, you have it, Pastor? Yes, sir. Look there at verse 6. For when we were yet without strength. See, for when we were yet without strength. In due time. In due time. Christ died for the ungodly. See, Christ died for the ungodly. Who died for the ungodly? Christ. Confucius. Christ. A Buddha. Or anybody else. What could wash away our sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make us whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. If there was no shedding of blood, there would be no remission of sin. A removal of sin. That's why he had to die. Read your Bible. But scarcely for a for righteous man, for a righteous man, will one die. Will one die? Yet preadventure, yet preadventure, for a good man, for a good man, some would even some dare would to die. Even dare to die. Look at that. Thank God you. couldn't get nobody else Hallelujah. to die for mankind. Oh yes, Lord. And if they had to die, it wouldn't have been no good, no way. Thank you, Jesus. That's why Jesus had to die. Read your Bible. Watch this. But God commended but his God love commanded toward us. But God commended his love towards us. And yet that while we were yet See, sinners. See, God commanded his love towards us. And that while we were yet sinners. Christ died for us. Christ died. Look at that. All you had to do was be born. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we were sinners in Adam. All of us. Thank you, Jesus. All nationality was inside of Adam. When Adam disobeyed God. Adam just hawking to his wife. And that's why God was hard on him. My body said, because you hawking to your wife. Because you didn't do what I told you to do before I gave you that wife. Mm -hmm. he, she wasn't on the scene yet. Because the Bible tells you that in, in Genesis 2 and verse 18. It's not good that a man be alone that I will make him a help me. She hadn't even come on the scene yet. She was still inside of Adam. And that's why God had to open him up and take one of his real. He didn't take five real, six real. Come on, talk to me. You ain't supposed to have no six husbands, no five wife, and on and on. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if God thought it off from the beginning with one wife, come on, fill in the blank. That's what it still should be today. Amen. And then brought the woman unto the man. God know how to bring your wife to you. God know how to bring your husband to you if you would wait on the Lord and you stop going here and there and picking them here and picking them now. That's why it don't work, because you did the picking. And how many know when you pick, it ain't going to be picked right? But if God do it, it's right. Oh, you know it's right what I'm teaching here. God didn't give Adam the wrong wife. God gave Adam the what? The right wife. And how many know if you stay safe and wait on the Lord, the Lord will give you the right wife and give you the right husband. They don't get nobody going to bruise you, beat the hell out of you, and whatever else. Why did I say beat the hell out of you? Because you got some hell in you too. Why he beating you? He's beating that out of you and putting some more in you. Some out of this something to do if you love the Lord. Amen. Your wife ain't for to be a punching bag. For you want to punch, you need to go to the gym and punch on that bag. You want to be a fighter, just go and be a fighter, be a boxer. It makes sense what I'm saying. And some women will stay in that until they kill them. Oh, you know I'm talking with sense. So you think you can't make it without him? Yes, you can make it without him. How many know that? But that's the spirit I'm put in you that you can't make it. Nobody else wants you. Somebody else wants you. You can believe that. How many of you believe that? 
But that's the spirit beat I'm putting inside of you, and you think you can't make it without that person. You know where you messed up from the start? Because you made them your life when you should have made Jesus your life. Amen. I wish you the ground they walk on. You shouldn't have been wishing nothing. You should have been wishing the Lord and wishing him in the beauty of holiness. Yes. Somebody give him a holy hand clap if you love him. Yes. Why did you read your Bible? Much more than. You say much more than. Being now justified being by now his blood. Being now justified by his blood. We shall be saved. We shall be saved. From wrath, from through, wrath him. through Jesus. See how you're going to be saved? How is you justified? By the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. You are justified just like you had never sinned before when you accept Jesus. Look over there at verse 1. Romans now, 5 and 1. Therefore, therefore being justified, being justified by, faith, by his, what? His, faith, by faith, faith. By faith. Come on. We have peace with we God. We have peace with God. Through our Lord, through our Jesus, Lord Christ. Jesus Christ. Look at that. Read your Bible. By whom also, by whom also we, have access we have access by faith. Come on, we have access by faith. Unto this grace, unto this grace wherein, we, wherein stand, we stand, rejoice, rejoice in, hope in hope of the glory of God. Of the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Watch this. Come on back over to verse 10. Five but and ten. If, but if when we were enemies, but if when we was enemy, we were reconciled to God. We were reconciled to God. By the death of his son. See, by the death of his son. Much more. Much more. Being reconciled. Being reconciled. We shall be saved by his life. We shall be saved life. by who life? Jesus. By who life? Jesus. Not by my life. Not by your life. Jesus. Not by your parents' life. Hallelujah. But by the life of Jesus. Thank how people are going to be saved. And how people are going to get off of this earth is yeah. through Jesus. Ooh, yes, because so. Jesus said, I am. And what else? Truth Glory to God. Watch this. Hold that, pal, on you little St. John, the 10th chapter. 10th chapter, St. John. Everybody, you that here, you that tune in. St. John, the 10th chapter. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 10th chapter, St. John. Verse 1, read it. 10th chapter, St. John. Verily, verily, I say unto I'm you. Truly, truly, I say unto you. He that entered not by the door. See, he that entered not by the door. Into the sheepfold. Into the sheepfold. But climb it up climb some it, other way. Climb it up some other way. The same the as same a thief. The same as a thief and, and a, a robber. robber. All right. You can't climb, can you? You got to come in at the door. And Jesus is that door. Yeah. I mean, believe Reach about what this. But he that entered in by the door. But he that entered in by the door. Is the shepherd of the is sheep. Is the shepherd of the sheep. Come on. To him the porter opened. To him opened, the porter opened. And the sheep, and hear, the his sheep voice, hear his voice. And he called it his and own he called sheep. His own sheep by name, and he called them by name. And leadeth them out. And he leadeth his sheep out. You see it? He didn't say he called goats by name. He called his sheep by name. Yeah. And he leadeth them out. Yeah. Why did you read your Bible? And when he put it forth his and own And when he sheep, put it forth his Sheep, own sheep. His own sheep. He goed before he them. He goed before them. And the sheep follow and him. And the sheep follow who? Jesus. Jesus. Follow, follow who? Him. Jesus. Follow him or follow Jesus. Come on. For they know his voice. For they know his voice. Now that was the same way when he met Matthew, he said, follow me. Mm -hmm. And Matthew went to follow Jesus. And you know his voice. There's a difference in his voice and somebody else's voice. Yeah. He say his sheep know his voice. Mm -hmm. Why to read your Bible? And a stranger will they not follow. And a stranger will they not what? Follow. Follow. But will flee from him. But gonna flee or run from him. For they know not. For they know not the voice of the stranger. voice of a stranger. Read your Bible. Come on. This parable spake this Jesus parable unto them. This parable spake Jesus unto them. But they understood not. But they not understood not. What things they were. What thing they were. Which he spake unto which them. Which he spake unto them. They didn't understand it. Did they? No. What did? Read your Bible. Then said Jesus unto them then again. Then said Jesus unto them again. Verily, verily, truly, I, say truly, unto I say unto you. I am the door said, of the I sheep. He said, I am the door of the sheep. He opened it up to them. Say, look, yes. I am the door of the sheep. You got to come by me. Yes. You're going to enter into heaven. You got to accept me to get in there. Read your Bible. Come on. All that ever came he before said, all me. All that ever came before me. Are thieves are and thieves robbers. And robbers. But the sheep. But the sheep did not hear them. Did not hear them. How many y'all see that now? So you have to be very careful when you hear what certain people are saying. If it don't line up with the word of God, it can mess you up. Yes. 
Wrong information can mess you up yes. and mess you up for life right. and cause you to lose your life. Read your Bible. Come on. I am the door. He said, I am the door. By me, if any man enter in. He said, now by in, him, if any person enter in. He shall be saved. You shall be saved. And shall go in and, and out. And shall go in and out. And find and pastor. And find pastor. He mean that, don't he? Yes. Read verse 10. The thief coming not. He said, now the thief, that's the devil. You see, that's the devil. That's the devil right there. That's the devil right there. Because if you look at verse 8, he said, all that ever came before me, they were thief. Thief. Yes. Thank thief you, and Jesus. robber. More than one. You see it? That's the difference. That's where it changed from the thief and the robber. When it came down right here is the devil. The Thank thief you. cometh not but to steal, kill, Thank and to destroy. You. Come on, read your Bible. I am come that, I they, am might come have that life, they may have life. And that they might have it and more abundantly. And that they abundant. might have it more abundantly. When I'm talking to unsaved people today, Jesus want to give you life. And Jesus is a life giver. But you yes. got to accept Jesus. Thank makes sense Lord. to me. I believe it makes sense to you too. Now watch this. Let's go back to Romans. You can finish reading right there. Go back to Romans. Romans, the fifth chapter, I'll be bored, verse, uh, verse 11. Verse 11, watch this. Not only so. He said, not only so. But we also joy in God. But we also joy in God. Through our Lord Jesus through Christ. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. By whom we have now received. By whom now we have received. The atonement. The atonement. You see it? Say, now we don't receive it. I verse 12. You. Come on. Wherefore, you see now, wherefore, as by one man sin, as by one man sin, entered into the world, it entered into the world, and death by sin, and death by sin, so death passed upon all see, men. See, so death passed upon all who, all, all men, men are all people, for that all have for sinned. For that all have sinned. Yes, that Lord. Is. Thank you, Chief. By Adam not obeying God, Thank Adam put us all in yes, bondage. Thank you, Chief. Adam made all us sinners. Yes. Adam did it because he disobeyed. Thank Read your you Bible. Lord. Come on. For unto the law. For unto the law. Sin was in the world. Sin was in the world. But sin is not imputed. See, sin is not imputed. Where there is no law. Where there is no law. You see it? Sin is not imputed. If there ain't no law there. So therefore, that's why sin is imputed because God got a law, isn't he? Yes. Watch with your Bible. Come on. Nevertheless. See, nevertheless. Death reigned from Adam to Moses. See, death from Adam to Moses. Even over them that even, had not sinned. Even over them that had not sinned. After the seventh of Adam's Adam, transgressors, transgressors. Who is the figure, who of, is him the figure of him that was to come. That was to come. Who was that was to come? Jesus. Jesus. See, Adam was the first Adam. And Jesus the second Adam. He called the second Adam and the last Adam. Hallelujah. See, Adam messed us up. And Jesus come on the scene to straighten us up. Yes. Everybody had accepted him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah behind hallelujah. that. Hallelujah. But you Thank have you. to accept Jesus. Yes. That's where you change life at when you give your life to him, regardless of what you're saying, what you're doing. Now, watch this. Let's go to 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy, the second chapter. Every word of God is true. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody is being saved right now while I'm yes. talking. Yes, Lord. Somebody is changing life. They're giving their life to the Lord because they know that I am telling the truth. Yes. And you do too. Watch this. First Timothy, the second chapter, thought at verse 1. And you're going to read to 6. I exalt therefore. He said, I exalt therefore. That first of all. That first of all. Supplications. Supplication. Prayers. Prayer. And intercession. And intercession. And giving up thanks. And giving up thanks. Be made for all men. That it be made for everybody. Thank you, Jesus. You see it? Everybody. Yes, sir. All Thank you, Jesus. people. Hallelujah. You see, I is all therefore that first of all, see it? Supplication, prayer, intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men of all people. Because they saved, they're not saved. Thank you, Jesus. Read your Bible. For kings. He said, for kings. And for all that are in authority. For all that are in authority. That we may lead a, that quiet, we may lead a quiet and peaceful, and peaceful life, life. In all goodness. In, in all goodness. And honesty. And honesty. See, we got to pray for the king. We got to pray for the president. We got to pray for all them in authority. You got to pray for your leader. You got to pray for your parents and on and on. You got to pray for the people that you work for, your supervisor, your manager, and on and on. But he didn't say, talk about them. He said, pray for them, make an assessment right. for them. Hallelujah. Yes, because Lord. if they're doing you wrong, they're taking advantage of you, God will deal with them. Yes. But on the other hand, you strike back at them, you do them wrong, what they're doing to you, God going to deal with both of you. Yes, Lord. Who agree with what I just said? Yes. Yes. 
Because God don't need nobody to do his job. He said, look, vengeance is mine. I repay. He don't need you to vent for him. Now do it. Now you get a chance, you ought to read that. Rome of the 12th chapter, verse 17 through 21. Read your Bible, Pastor. But this is good. See, for this is good. And acceptable, and acceptable in the sight of God, the sight of God, God our Savior. Read your Bible. Who will have all men. Who would have all men. To be saved. To be saved. And to come unto the knowledge. And to come unto the knowledge. Of the truth. See, God wants everybody to be saved. But I know I don't read the book. Everybody's Thank not going to be saved because everybody is not going to accept Jesus Thank Christ. You. Everybody is not going to turn from the way. But we still have to preach it to them. Because yes, they're going to be without excuse when they stand before God. Thank you, Jesus. That he would have all men, all people to be saved. That Jesus, Jesus. comes to save sinners. Hallelujah. He come to seek and save that which was lost. Oh, yes, Lord. And I was just as lost yeah, yeah, as yeah. I could be. You were lost Thank as you, you could yes. be. Yes. 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 How many of you know you were lost? Yes, sir. All you had to do is just be born into this simple world. Thank you, Jesus. And that's why you see people do the things they do because they are blind. Because sin will blind you. It blind me. It blinding them. It blind you too, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And all the things you were saying you were doing, you thought you was right. And to the day the Lord came into your life and you got saved, your eyes came open to all the simple and damnable things that you said that you did. And you wonder how could you do that because it was your simple nature. You couldn't help but do it. Get me Ephesians, the second chapter, read Pastor, verse 6. But there is one God. But there is one God. And one mediator. And one mediator. Between God and men. Between God and men. The man Christ Jesus. The man Christ Jesus. Who gave himself a ransom. Who gave himself a ransom. For all. For all. To be testified. To be testified. In due time. In due time. Jesus, you, Jesus was the ransom for us. Yes, Lord. Money couldn't do it. Silver and gold couldn't do it. But it was the precious blood of Jesus. Yes. When I take you over there to First Peter, the first chapter. Now, I want, what I told you to get me on the word. Ephesians, second chapter. Let everybody look at Ephesians, the second chapter, everybody. Verse 1. Thank you, Jesus. And you have he quickened. See, and you have he quickened, or you have he made alive. Mm -hmm. Who are dead in trespasses and sin. Didn't I tell you we were just as dead as we could be, blind as we could be, in trespass and sin. But when we accepted Jesus, we came alive. Yes. Our eyes came open, spiritual. And we looked at the simple thing we were saying we were doing. Now since your eyes open, should you still be doing that? No. Should no. you still live like that? No. Read your Bible. Wherein in time past. See, wherein in time past. You walked according to the course of this see, world. See, we walked or we live according to the course of this what? This world. world. This world or this system. According to the prince of the power of the air. According to the prince air, of the power of the air. The spirit that now works. See, it's a spirit, a spirit that now works. In the children of disobedience. In the children of disobedience when you are disobedient. That's a spirit working in you. And that spirit will work you to that spirit kill you. Yes. If you don't get it out of you when you disobey you, God. Jesus. Read your Bible. Among whom also. Among whom also. We all had our conversation. We all had our conversation. In time past. In time past. In the lust of our flesh. In the lust of our flesh. Fulfilling the desires of the, the flesh, flesh. of the flesh. And of the mind. And of the mind. And were by nature. And were by nature. The children of wrath. Even as others. Even as others, others sin. We were born that way. We were born to lie. We were born yes. to steal. We were born to curse. We were born to fight. And on and on because it was our simple nature. But you can be born again. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Here my last verse. I'm going to close it out. Go to 1 Peter. 1 Peter, first chapter. Look there at verse 17 and reach 19. Move quickly. First Peter. And if you call on the Father. And if you call on the Father. Who without respect to persons. Who without respect of person. Judge it according to every man's work. He judge it according to every man's work. Past the time of your sojourning here. Past the time of your sojourning. In fear. And fear. For as much as you know, as much as you know, that you were not redeemed with corruptible that things, that we were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and as gold, silver and gold, from your vain conversation, from your vain conversation, you received by tradition, you received by tradition, from your fathers, from your forefathers, or uh, from your parents. Thank you, Read. Jesus. But with the precious blood but of with Christ, the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb, of, as of a lamb, without blemish, without blemish, and without spot, and without spot. Thank you, Jesus. Silver and gold couldn't redeem us. Hallelujah. But the precious blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We can stop there. We're getting ready to go pray. For you that have tuned Thank in, the Lord. Lord love you. Come at this time, Pastor. Glory to God. And I don't care what you're saying, what you're doing, what you done did, what you're involved in. You that are incarcerated, you that are at home. 
Thank you, Lord. All you need to do is feel God is sorry and acknowledge you're a sinner. Thank and the you things Jesus. you've been doing, you've been involved in. Oh, See, yeah. all yeah. us in here were once sinners, once liars, drinking, mm -hmm. cussing, raising hell, going to yeah. jail, stealing. And I go on and on. Who agree I just said? Amen. Thank and you, Lord. And we were sinners. Thank and you. And Jesus died for us like he died for you. Yes, Lord. But we had Thank to accept you. Jesus. That's why. You see, our life done changed. Thank you, Lord. And Hallelujah. Lord, I want to change your life today. You, That's why I'm reaching out to you today. Oh, bless your heart. All right, now we're getting Thank ready to pray for you. Hallelujah. I want you to repeat after us. Thank you, Lord. Say, Lord. Lord. I acknowledge. I acknowledge. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. I've been living wrong. I've been living and wrong. And I know it's not right. And I know it's not and right. Everything and everything that Apostle Robinson, that Apostle Robinson have, showed me have showed me through the word of God. Through the word of God. It's talking to me. It's talking to me. And I see the way out. And I see the way out. To accept you. To accept you. And make you Lord of my life. And make you Lord of my life. Now, Lord. Now, Lord. I feel God is sorry. I feel God and is I sorry. And I ask you to save and me. And I ask you to save me. And wash me with your blood. And wash me with your I blood. Because I make you Lord. I make you Lord. And save you. And save of my life. Of my life. Now, if you Thank did you that, just as sure as I'm standing here talking God. to you, Thank you, the Lord, Lord. it is exactly that. Thank you. Now you need to follow up on God it. Don't yes, send Lord. people here that Hallelujah. he won't hear. I have Thank always you, did it. And if God direct you this way under this ministry, you Thank obey you, the Spirit Jesus. of the Lord and you get here because you got to get up on the leadership. Oh, yes, Lord. Somebody got to continue to Hallelujah. instruct you and teach you in the way of God. Thank you, Jesus. I done had people be driving by here. And the Lord have had Thank them to drop on this lot and get in this place. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And many of you, God been speaking to you. Thank you, Jesus. See, this thing is all about the kingdom of God yes. and getting people saved. Yes, But we can get out of here. It ain't about having so many members. Thank you, Jesus. Because a lot of people ain't going to have many members. God done designed it that way. Some yes, going to have more than others. Because much is given to whom much is required. Thank you, Jesus. But you need to obey the spirit of the Lord. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. All right, Pastor. Amen. Close us out. Praise what the Lord. We thank the Lord for the word of God today. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Acts 2, 21. Amen. All you got to do is call on him. Amen. And he's a, just a prayer away. Amen. You see two numbers on the screen. Go to the phone. Amen. And call and get in touch with Jesus. He's just a prayer away. Somebody sitting by to pray with you and lead you to the Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless you, you and you, you and you and all, all of you. Give the Lord you, a holy hand. Hallelujah. Come on. Give Thank the Lord you. a holy hand. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a holy hand.